This is the Reporter's Notebook, hosted by Elaine Shane. Hello everyone, I'm Bryce Anderson, DTN Senior Ag Meteorologist, and on this edition of The Notebook, we're taking a look at how things are shaping up for the summer weather forecast across the major U.S. crop areas. As we look at the summer of the year 2019, we first of all start with what's going on with the Pacific Ocean temperatures, because there is a weak El Nino pattern in effect. The uh, uh, water temperatures off the coast of South America toward the international date line are generally running at a, a value of around a half degree Celsius to as much as one and a half, maybe in a few areas, two degrees Celsius above average. So a weak El Nino is in effect on the temperature side. Now the ocean uh, atmospheric features measured by the Southern Oscillation Index and tracked by the Australia Bureau of Meteorology are generally in a very weak negative pattern and that would be uh, again in line with the idea that we have a weak El Nino in place so the atmosphere is leading to that. The Pacific does provide periodic uh, upper air disturbances into the continental U.S. and when El Nino is in effect the impact on crop production is usually favorable and so that leads to the idea that summer is going to be generally a favorable season for crops here this year. And the forecast for the Pacific temperatures through the balance of the growing season put together by the International Climate Research Institute calls for El Nino values to be in place all the way through the summer and even through the fall season generally around a 50 percent chance for El Nino. So the ocean is uh, generally a favorable player in terms of its effect on our summer weather. Now one feature that is going to be with us all the way through this particular season is that soil moisture levels are going to be quite ample for crops. In fact the Palmer Drought Index shows that for the entire central and eastern U.S., soil moisture values are either very wet or abnormally wet. So for most areas of the central and eastern U.S., there should be a good supply to help supplement crops if a dry spell does develop. In the west, it is a little more variable. As far as forecasts are concerned for the summer season, for the month of June, we are looking for a cool condition, a cool pattern over the western Midwest and the plains, warm above normal in the eastern Midwest, along with the delta and the southeast. A big feature in July is that the western U.S. will be well above normal on temperatures, so it is going to be warm over the west, normal in the plains and in the northern Midwest, and then above normal over most of the southeast. In August, conditions look to be near normal in the northern plains and above normal elsewhere, so generally normal to above normal in the mid to late summer time frame. Precipitation during June above normal in the western U.S. and near to below normal in the central and east. In July, the pattern looks a little bit dry in Texas and the Delta, but wet in the Midwest and Northern Plains through the West, well above normal on, on uh, precipitation likely. And August, mostly above normal. So we are not going to lack for precipitation during the key filling stages for crops this season. That is a look at the summer weather forecast for the year 2019. Thanks for joining us. I'm DTN Senior Ag Meteorologist Bryce Anderson. This has been the Reporter's Notebook from the DTN Progressive Farmer Newsroom.